Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Now in today's second video of batch costing chapter, we are going to see this illustration 6 of the ICI study material and this problem is based on EBQ, economic batch quantity. Okay, so see here we have the question, let's go through it once, let's see what's happening over here. KBC Bearing Limited is committed to supply 48,000 bearings per annum to KMR fans on a steady daily basis. So from this first sentence we come to understand that here they are talking about annual demand. The annual demand of this company is 48,000 units. Okay, 48,000 bearings. Yeah, this company is involved in the manufacturing of bearings. Is that okay? Right. And then they are saying, see here, it is estimated that it costs rupee 1 as inventory holding cost per bearing per month. You see this? Per month is given. We don't need that. In the EBQ formula, we need the carrying cost per unit per annum. So what we have to do, if it is in months, we have to multiply by 12 and we will get in terms of year per annum. Yeah. So rupee 1 into 12, that is equal to rupees 12. Yeah. So rupees 12 would be the carrying cost per unit per annum. Is that okay? Right. And that the setup cost per run of bearing manufacture is 3200. Then they have given us the setup cost per run. Now per run means what? Per run means per batch. Okay. Each time the machinery is run and the batch is, you know, processed. Right. So that's called run. Okay. So run means batch. Just simple. Right. So cost per batch of bearing manufacture is 3200. Fine. It's given. S is given directly. Okay. So now let's see what we have to do now. The first question they are asking us. See, determine the optimum run size of bearing manufacture. Again, the run size means what? Run means batch size batch size optimum batch size what is optimum batch size optimum batch size is the economic batch quantity so that's what we have to calculate see it's very simple you all know this we have seen the conceptual video right yeah yes so see here ebq is equal to the root of 2 as divided by c a is the annual demand s is the setup cost per batch and c is the carrying cost per unit per annum okay so let's put everything in yeah we have everything see here rupee 1 would be the carrying cost of month we multiplied that by 12 we got rupees 12 so c would be 12 and then the annual demand is 48000 and then setup cost per batch is 3200 so if we put all of this in the calculator see here 2 into 48000 into 3200 divided by 12 that is equal to something root of that would be 5059.6 so we'll just round it off and it will be 5060 units so this is the most economic batch quantity yeah the most optimum run size the batch size which the company should go for because at this batch size the setup cost and the which cost carrying cost will be minimum is that okay right then the second question they are asking see here state what would be the interval between two consecutive optimum runs again runs means batches so they are asking what would be the period what would be the interval between the two continuous batches okay so you just have to find out how many you know days are there between two batches okay so to calculate that first you need to know how many batches the company has to go for how many number of batches so first let's calculate that let's calculate number of batches see here it's very simple to calculate number of batches see what you're gonna do is the company needs 48,000 bearings in a year per annum that's the annual demand you're gonna take that annual demand and each time you're going for a batch size of 5060 so just divide it by that yeah see here optimum batch size is 5060 if you need 48,000 units in total in a year if you divide that by the optimum batch size EBQ you will get the number of batches you're gonna have in a year that is equal to let's just do that in the calculator 48,000 divided by 5060 that's equal to 9.48 yeah now we can just round this off and we can say 10 batches yeah 10 batches is that clear so we have the number of batches 10 batches will be happening in a year right to meet this annual demand of 48,000 okay so now what we actually need to know in this second question we need to know the period between the two batches so it's very simple to calculate that in a year we have 365 days yeah we have 365 days divided by the 10 batches yeah 
if we divide it by the 10 batches then the days will be allotted to the batches and you will know you know the period between the two batches simple as that so 365 days divide by 10 that's equal to 36.5 yeah, simple calculation 36.5 days you can say 37 days so between two batches there will be 37 days gap do you understand what they were asking over there they were just asking the gap between two batches the period between two batches yeah first we calculated how many number of batches we have to make and then we you know we took the total days in a year divided by 10 we got the days the gap between the batches is that clear right so that's it yeah that's the second question simple next we have the third question see here find out the minimum inventory cost now tell me what type of two costs we have in ebq in ebq we have setup and processing cost and carrying cost yeah now is setup and processing cost a part of inventory cost no it's not what is the part of inventory cost think about the economic ordering quantity in economic ordering quantity if you remember the part of inventory cost was purchase cost yeah and then holding cost and then ordering cost yeah these three were the part of inventory cost isn't it yes but here only one is there we don't have ordering cost over here we don't have purchasing cost over here we have just the carrying cost so in this third question they are just asking about the total carrying cost simple as that yeah so that's what you have to calculate you all know eoq yeah you have seen that in material costing what was the formula of calculating the total carrying cost you used to take the average inventory yeah into the carrying cost per unit isn't it that's what you used to do so same thing we are going to do over here see here average inventory into carrying cost per unit per annum so how do you calculate average inventory do you remember we used to take the order size and divide by two that's what we used to do so the same thing here but do we have order size over here no we don't we don't have order size we have batch size so we are going to take the batch size that is 5060 units see here 5060 units divide by two and the carrying cost per bearing per annum is rupees 12 you all know that yeah rupee one is of one month of the whole year would be 12 rupees fine so that's what you're gonna do simple as that 5060 divide by 2 this is your average inventory into rupees 12 the carrying cost per unit per annum that's equal to 30,360 so this is your what do you say the total carrying cost now see why are they calling it as minimum inventory cost you already know why inventory cost because carrying cost is a part of inventory cost yeah that's why but why minimum i have told you at this size at ebq the inventory cost i mean the carrying cost will be minimum that's why they are calling it as minimum inventory cost if by yourself if you change this yeah by yourself if you go for a different size of batch yeah let's say you're going for 3000 units in a single batch and what will happen you will have to incur unnecessary inventory cost and your inventory cost will be higher yes so that's why we go for ebq and we go for that because of you know we'll have minimum inventory cost it will be optimized that's the meaning of ebq is that clear simple as that so you understood this right it's very simple yeah what did we do over here 5060 divide by 2 average inventory into rupees 12 that was 30,360 clear so this is it yeah this was a simple question of ebq economic batch quantity right if you have any doubts then please comment down below okay right so that's it for this video see you in the next video yeah bye